In this video, I would like to discuss the condition macular hole. The eye is like a camera with lenses at the front and a photographic film at the back. And between the two, in the body of the camera, is a clear jelly called vitreous. In patients who develop macular hole, the re for reasons we don't really understand, the vitreous pulls on the retina, and in particular the central part of the retina, the macula, to pull a hole open in the retina. And this results in a central blurring of vision and often distortion of vision. As the jelly pulls the hole open, it does it by displacing the tissue sideways rather than pulling off a plug of tissue. And this is the reason why macular hole surgery can be very successful in improving the vision. The vitreous is a very important component of the development of macular holes. And if you have developed a macular hole in one eye, the likelihood of developing a macular hole in the other eye depends on what's happened to the vitreous. If the vitreous is still attached to the back surface of the eye, then there is approximately a 10 to 20% chance that a macular hole can develop in your fellow eye. If, however, you've had a vitreous separation, that is to say the vitreous jelly has become watery and has cleanly pulled away from the back wall of the eye, then the risk of developing a macular hole in your fellow eye is almost negligible. Sometimes in patients with very small macular holes, they can spontaneously improve without treatment, but on the whole, most macular holes will gradually enlarge to a certain size when they will finally stop and result in a blurred patch in the centre of vision. So you do not go blind with macular holes if left untreated. You remain with a central blurred patch and useful peripheral surrounding vision. But certainly these days, most patients with macular holes like to have treatment and this will be a subject of uh, a separate video.